when possible, I live in private homes. That is the only way I can get the quiet and rest I must have in my work. Sit down, Prince. I guess you're right. A young fellow in your line must find it hard to get a little rest. <laughs> guess about it can get rest if they want it. I prefer lovely people, comfortable homes, and rest. When I am fortunate enough to get in such a beautiful home as yours, Mrs. Wilson, Allah has blessed me. Well, now, it's nice to know you believe in someone, or uh, Allah, as you call him. We call him Allah. You call him... What does it matter? I don't think he minds as long as we know he is supreme and the only one we can trust. I've trusted him all my life, and he hasn't failed me yet. Why don't you men sit over there? I want to clear the table. Yes, dear. Come, friend. Uh, Miss Wilson should hurry or else she'll miss the first of the show. Might as well sit down. Spreading won't help. She'll be down as soon as she's ready. Wouldn't make any difference, would it, as long as she's there when you go on? Oh, of course. I want her to enjoy the show. Friend, I want to ask you a question. You know a father is always very anxious about his daughter. After a mother has raised her. We are very fond of our child. I had noticed, that is, we know that you and Margaret have been spending most of your time together. And I should like to know, that is, well, I would like to ask... What are my intentions towards your daughter? Also my future plans? Is that it, Mr. Wilson? That's just what I wanted to say. Well, my plans for the future are very definite. When I have made sufficient money, I will settle down in one of the smaller towns and open a little business of my own. Then, I shall marry. Naturally, you will marry a girl of the theater. I had hoped Margaret, I mean Miss Wilson and I, could reach an understanding. Margaret has always done as she pleased in matters of this kind. Pa, huh, you know, she always comes to us before deciding anything so important. When had you planned on reaching this understanding? Really, there's no cause for alarm. Miss Wilson will have plenty of time to consider the matter. We love our daughter very deeply. Should she be made unhappy, I'm sure we could not stand it. Our little girl is all we have. Please don't go on with this make-believe, if that's what it is. Now, Mother... The young folks will take care of themselves. My boy, you're all right. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. Your daughter will be assured of my sincerity before making her choice. My family has always insisted that the sons marry into, well, should I say, comfortable circumstances, but I am sure they will take my feelings into consideration. Wait a minute, young man. My daughter will not be a pauper when she... I'll answer it, Paul. You go ahead. I see you're all set to talk too much. She always says I talk too much. Hello, Buster. Come in. Margaret is dressing. Yes, sir. How's your mother? She's fine. Go on in and sit down. I'll tell Margaret you're here. Buck up. For goodness sake, don't look so down in the mouth. Yes, sir. If you let that guy kick her away from you, I'll... I'll... I don't know what I'll do. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now about Margaret. We've been saving a surprise for her. A fine piece of East Texas land as a wedding present. Property is more of a liability than an asset. This piece has been in our family for many years. The famous East Texas oil structure runs right through it. I'll show you on the map.
Mom put the box way back in the drawer, and I couldn't see it at first. We always <laughs> keep it in our dresser. Here's the deed. Free and clear. An oil company offered me $15,000 cash, $30,000 in oil, and one-eighth royalty. Here's the map. Now this is the East Texas oil structure. So much red belt on it, you can't grow anything but sagebrush. Gushes had come in on both sides of my land that's better than 30,000 barrels a day. This is a valuable piece of land. Why don't you develop it? We decided to keep it until Margaret marries and let her enjoy what it will bring with her husband. You see, Prince, Ma and I don't need much. Margaret will be down in a minute. Paul, what does all this mean? Well, I was just showing the Prince I've let place down in Texas. I wish you hadn't done this. I want to... Oh, well, I guess. I'm sorry, Prince Alahabit, but I just don't like to brag. I can assure you Mr. Wilson was not bragging. Just a little show of paternal pride. Hello, oh, Buster. Waiting to see Dad? No, Margaret. I came to see you. Gee, you look pretty. Where are you going? I'm going to the theater with a friend. Not with him. I won't let you. Since when did you assume the role of a dictator? Call me with life, but I wanted to go out with that. Well, at least you have a backbone. Yeah, for your money. It didn't take long now, did it? It seemed like hours to me, but I suppose it was really only a couple of minutes. Oh, the wind blew the door shut. Well, I didn't know the wind was blowing that hard. It was then. What's the matter, Mom? I've got the show with me, so how can I miss? Good night, Mommy and Dad. I'll be right home. Good night to you both. Good night. Have a good time. He seems to be a fine young fellow. Oh, I guess so. But I have the queerest feeling like something's going to happen. Now, Ma. You always get those notions when you're tired. You'd better go to bed early and get a good night's rest. You'll feel better in the morning. I hope so. I wish you hadn't shown him these things. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. I'm so disappointed, I don't know what to do. Our boy works so hard, and you don't do a thing to help him. Don't start that all over again. I want to read the paper. You're always talking about what good friends you have in politics, yet you do nothing for your own. Why don't you get him on some of these big cases? Men that handle those big cases, as you call them, happen to be working for the government or the police department. I'm waiting for Mr. Hoover to get a case where he needs a fingerprint expert. Then I shall go to Washington. Well, I know he will appreciate it. I opened the office for him, fully equipped, and that's all I can do. My dear, I do think an awful lot of you. Prince, darling. You should have traveled to all the pretty places in the world as the wife of Prince Allahabad. You shall know New York, 
London, Paris, Buenos Aires, all the pretty places where one really lives. I'm just a small town girl. You might be ashamed of me. Allahabad will never be ashamed of the woman he loves. Do you always feel that way? Always, my dear. I was never so happy before. Only, you're going so soon. Then you will go with me in the morning. Your happiness must be lasting. You will pack a few things at once. I must leave quite early. Thank you. 
Wrong, Mr. Wilson. Margaret started to tell me, but her voice faded dead away. We better go right up there. Junior, you wait here. If there's anything you can do, I'll call you. You hear? Yes. Bye, Mama. Lingley talking. Hey, why don't you come on down here so I can get in the office? Who are you hollering at? I'm hollering at you. You ought to have been down here and had the office open. Suppose we get some business. You ought to quit hollering in my ears. It's my nickel. I can holler if I want them. What number do you want? Never mind what number I want. I want to talk to you. Well, you can't talk to me, Sonny, until you get my number. Sonny? Boy, who you calling Sonny? You know what number I want. Get your party? Yes, I got my party operator. You ain't got your party until you get the right number. I want 486. That's the wrong number. If you want to talk to me, Sonny, call 468. The time is up. The clock is five Oh. That phone's been busy for 10 minutes. Well, call again. 468, please. Oh, here he is now. Hello? Junior, we need an expert at once. You better bring all your things and come as fast as you can. Now, I guess you can call the police. Hello, operator. Emergency. Get me the police. Hello, Chief. This is Ernest Lingley. Send some men up to the Wilson home at once. There's been a murder. Yeah. I'm glad you came. You gotta get the gang of desperate men. Come on. A whole gang? Maybe there's more than that. Just as soon as I find the right fingerprints, we'll go and find out who's guilty. You can't find out who the culprit is with those fingerprints. You gotta find some at the scene of the crime. We know about these. Can't we take them and we find them there? How you gonna get them fingerprints off the paper? Come on, let's hurry. We'll be too late. We ain't gonna miss nothing. Whatever it is, it's happened by now. You've been so long. Hurry up, all the good crews will be gone before you get started. Tell us what happened, Mama. We don't know what to look for. Don't you know what's happened? Mr. Wilson's been murdered. That's what's happened. Murdered? 
In the middle of the night? No, in the middle of the day. Oh, it was terrible. It must have been. Yes, ma'am. What's the matter? Him, Langley. You get the handcuffs. Hold him, partner. Hold him still a minute. I'll get his fingerprints. <laughs> what were you doing under that bed? What did you kill him for? You've been hiding now all the time and just not trying to make you get away. What's your name? Come on. What's your name? Sergeant Ramsey. Did you say your name was Sergeant something? Yes, Detective Sergeant Ramsey. Homicide detail. I guess my partner made a little mistake. Wait a minute now. You know we partners never say. Now don't start that. You hollered, I got him. And I was only doing my duty. Now just a minute, you. Now I'll ask a few questions. What's your name? Who, me? Yes, you. Oh. Oh, what? Just plain O. Is O your full name? No, sir. There ain't even an O in his name. You be quiet. I'll get to you in a minute. Take your time, sir. Just no hurry. Now what's your name? Name, Lake? Well, why did you just say so in the first place? You sit down there while I ask your partner a few questions. Hello, Pop. I was just looking for you. Are you sure Mr. Wilson's dead? That's what the doctor said. Why? I just sat on the bed and he kicked me. Ernest, is this your boy? Yes, sir, Sergeant. This is my son. Mr. Wilson was such a good friend of the family that the chief gave him permission to work on the case. We like to help out all we can, you know. Yeah, he'll be a lot of help. Sergeant, come here a minute. The lady's able to talk now, and we've got a suspect. that I can tell. Last night I felt as if someone came into my room. I tried to awaken, but I couldn't. And then I felt as if uh, I was about to smooth it, as if someone were putting a pillow over my head. Then in the morning when I did awaken, there was a funny taste in my mouth. And there was Dan with the cover all wrapped about him. And when the doctor came, he said, he said, he was dead. Now, you must try to control your emotions and help us to find the man that murdered your husband. Did you recognize this person? No, sir. I couldn't keep my eyes open. What kind of a hat did he have on? I don't know, sir, but I think it was a slouched hat, and his coat collar was turned up about his neck. Then you did see him? No, sir. I did not see him. But somehow the shadowy figure of a man coming through that doorway sticks in my mind. What time was that? I don't know, sir. Surely you don't think I could have done it. Lady, I'm not paid to think. Our job is finding out. Is Brad being defenseless? Women are part of your job. What's your name, son? Buster, sir. Buster Barnett. Well, Buster, where were you last night? I... I went for a walk. Oh, you went for a walk, eh? What time did you get home? He didn't come home at all, Sergeant. But I know he didn't do anything wrong. All mothers feel just like that. I didn't do anything, Sergeant. Why don't you get that Hindu that was here last night? Hindu? What are you talking about? That fellow that calls himself the great Prince Alihabad. I guess he didn't tell you about the prince because she fell in love. I heard them last night planning to get married. He wanted her to go away with him this morning. 
because Mr. Wilson told him that Margaret would come into a lot of oil land when she married. Mr. Wilson also told him that some oil company down in Shrewsport had offered a lot of money for the lease. So you sneaked in and took the deed to make it look like the Hindu took it. Isn't that the way it was? You didn't mean to kill him, did you, Buster? You just wanted to keep him asleep long enough that you could sneak in and get the deed out of the drawer. You were very careful to use gloves, weren't you, Buster, so there'd be no fingerprints. You were very careful, weren't you, Buster? You didn't know that Mr. Wilson had heart trouble, did you? You didn't know that when he started resisting the drug, he'd get tangled up the sheets and strangle himself. You didn't know that would turn out that way, did you, Buster? No, I didn't do it, Sarge. I didn't do it. I was mad. I wanted to kill that Hindu, but I didn't. I went walking, but I didn't kill nobody. You know I didn't do it. You know I didn't. I didn't do it. Go ahead, for and have him check with the theater and see where Ella Habit went from here and have him brought back. Send out a general alarm for suspicion of murder. This investigation will have to rest until we find Ella Habit. Let all these people go home. I want to check with all the detectives on this case before any report is issued. Leave a uniformed man on guard to see that nothing to search. The chief said he wanted to compare notes with all of the detectives. Yeah, I heard him. What you going to show him? Well, I thought we'd just show him your book. Well, I don't think he'd be interested in what I found. How about you? Well, I'd like to kind of keep mine secret. Here, I've been giving you a chance to get on a dope, and what do you get? Well, now, that's different. I didn't know this was a dope case. Who used it? Not that kind of dope. Let's go in and get something quick. You go ahead. I'll wait. Don't be so scared. That man can't hurt you. Come on. I know he can't hurt me, but he can make me hurt myself. You're the most superstitious man I ever saw. I ain't superstitious. I'm just careful. Glad that's over with. Now maybe you can keep your mind on these clues. Hope they took everything. With sure, them. they took everything. Didn't you see them remove the marble remains? What I'm worrying about now is the immortal remains. Ain't you find no clues yet? Yeah, I found some prints over there. Look, over there. The prints, all right, but what kind? They look like cat tracks to me. Whatever they are, I'm going to follow them. You know, that could have been one of them work cats. You mean whale wolf? Whatever it was, it went under the bed. You got to go under and investigate. You go under. I'll sit here on the bed and figure out what happened. Please don't go to sleep, and don't leave till you give me due notice. I'll be right here when you come out. Uh, Langley, oh Langley, you suppose Mr. Wilson was laying down when it happened? Yes, he was. He was asleep. That's what I figured. You're the only one I know who can sleep standing up.
He's held out against us for some time. Said he wasn't ready to develop yet. Don't tell me he's willing to talk terms. Mr. Wilson was murdered night before last. The deed to that property was stolen. We were working on the case, and we thought that. And so we came down here to look around. I think you're 100% right. Being the largest operator in that field, he no doubt will try and interest us first. That's what we thought. Perhaps we better notify the local police so they can cooperate. Happy Police Headquarters, please. Have you a description of this man? Nobody knows who did it. Hello. May I speak with the chief? This is Mason. John Mason. Fine, thank you. Chief, we have a reason to believe that a man suspected of murder will bring a stolen deed here to sell. Oxley, Oklahoma. We have two private detectives in my office now. 
All right. Thank you, Chief. The Chief will detail a man up here for a couple of days. In the meantime, you'll get in touch with Oxley. Well, thank you, Mr. Mason. That's a great help. You won't have a thing to worry about if your man shows up here. Well, I guess the man decided not to come this way after all. Been here three days now, no sign of him. No criminal with an ounce of brains would come to the one place where he's expected. No man with an ounce of brains would be a criminal. Well, I guess it all adds up to that anyway. You won't need to stay. I'll be busy here for some time yet. Work pretty late, don't you? Well, we have to build three offsets in the next 30 days. It takes work to get crew on the laces. Yes, I heard you have some pretty good producing wells now. Well, we have two on the pump. Three wells came in on the joint leaves near our line. We have to build off that hole to protect our leads and our investment. That's all Greek to me. I guess I'll run along and report now. Call me up in the morning before you come up. I may not need you. Good night. Okay, Mr. Mason. Good night. Now, where did he go? Here we are, up another blind alley. You've been trailing everybody in town. Book says everybody's a suspect. We walked this live long day trailing folks. We followed two railroad men to the roundhouse. Three different times we followed men to the levee. Now we've been following this guy since we first saw him down by the railroad yard this afternoon. I'm tired. My head is, my back is, I'm hungry. My feet hurt and I ain't going no further. Wait a minute, you quit now. That part of this expedition is history. I have resigned, capitulated, abdicated, and everything else that means I'm through. Ain't this the building the oil company's in? You right, this is it. What are we gonna do now? We got to find a policeman. Come on. But my dear man, we don't keep that much money in the office. Deals like that usually go through our bank. None of that bank stuff. I want cash and I want it now. Open that safe. Or maybe you'd rather I... I guess another murder wouldn't mean much to you. Stop stalling. Open that safe. I wouldn't do it, mister. What about that crack about another murder? Nothing much. One of the men you stole that deed from is dead. Dead? Yes. I guess that's all right. One more won't make much difference. Drop that knife. Keep your hands up. On his wrist. I thought you went home a while ago. No, I had a hush to stick around. A railroad dick, a friend of mine, told me this guy got off the Oklahoma train this afternoon. So when I saw those two private detectives rush out of the building in such a hurry, I decided to stick around and take a look. I'm glad you followed your hunch. You get your reward later. Now, what's this you've been telling me about a murder going on? It just ain't happened yet, I guess. 
That's him, officer, the one there. The one with the handcuffs on? Go on, Langley, and grab it. You do your duty now, and I'll assist you. What are you fellows afraid of? His handcuffs? If you show them handcuffs on tight, I'll go rest him. Well, I guess you won't need me any longer. I'll go ring in. Come on, Langley. You under arrest. Again? Yes, again, and don't start nothing. We'll take him on to headquarters, wire Oxley, and then turn him over to you officially. Hello, Mr. Lingley. Congratulations. Nice grab that boy of yours, mate. Fine work. Just a case of simple deduction, Sergeant. That boy's going to be a great detective someday. He's great now. Sure, I know, dear. But maybe you'll let me do more for him now. I was just going to tell you that our two great detectives, Langley and Lightfoot, were a murderer in a neighboring state. Prince Alihabad, you may refuse to answer these questions if you wish. What do I have to hide? I wonder. Tell us, what is your right name? Here's your murderer. Gentlemen, you're what I call two first-class detectives. Take this man away and have him booked for murder in the morning. Well, boys, congratulations. All right. A fine piece of work. It was a tough assignment. I knew you'd do it. 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 I'd like to have you answer that question before you leave. I don't think that is any of your business. That's another point we differ on. What would happen should we agree? I'd be wrong. Hey, Sergeant, don't you want this fellow to answer your question before you leave? That's a good idea, Buster. Well, Mr. Alihabad, we're waiting. I am Prince Alihabad of the Royal House of Von Ford. Prince Alabama of the Royal House of Concord, Alabama. This is really a pleasure. Now, Sergeant, you can put me in jail. That ain't murder, son. I am on the homicide detail. <laughs> Thank you.